Hey guys, welcome to a quick little flash game called Mutant Uprising. I, it is a point and click story game that I am going to play. Oh, that sounds so nice. Alright, let's go. New game. Alright, so it's like a story, so I guess I'll read this out. Your name is Rick, an unemployed 20-something who lives alone in a one-bedroom house. See, I have standards, not an apartment. After a busy morning getting rejected for a job interview, she sit down to watch the news. The newscaster is speaking in a panic tone. A panic tone. Tone. Ugh, that's a weird word. Which you think is quite unprofessional. Your eyes widen as you hear. You fuckers can read this. As you hear what he is saying, there has been some sign of a disease outbreak. Well. Judging by the title, this has nothing to do with mutants. Suddenly, there is a loud knocking on the door. You almost jump out of your skin. Your heart is pounding. Your arms are sweaty. Oh God, there goes mom's spaghetti. And, but fortunately, you haven't crapped yourself yet. Hmm. What do I do? There's knocking. I can ignore it and keep watching TV. Go upstairs, look down. Can we go open the door? Open the door. Fuck that shit. I'm gonna go upstairs and look down. Oh, for one bedroom house, this is a pretty nice stairway. Alright, you look down to your doorstep from upstairs bedroom and see Miss Miggins. What a old woman name. Your elderly next door neighbor. Oh, this is British. They used to owe you. Oh, Bert. oh god she's trying to break in uh she's trying to break in obviously she wants to come in where's that option okay go downstairs and panic let's go downstairs and panic let's see what happens <laughs> mutant apocalypse <coughs> What? That sucks. Miss Miggins is in your house and she means business. The yellow goo dripping from her mouth hisses as it hits the carpet. Ew! You're slightly annoyed at this because you had just had that carpet fitted. But then you are stricken with terror as Miss Miggins begins to move forward. Acid dribble skin plus acid dribble plus skin is not a combination you want to experience. I can throw a pillar at her. Fuck that, let's get the hell out. Wait, no, this is my one bedroom house, though. Get the crap out of it. I'm gonna go back. I don't know what to do. Go to the kitchen. <laughs> oh, am I about to die? You realize this possibly wasn't the best idea in the world. Oh, that has to be terrifying as hell. Hide in the cupboard, any in the cupboard. What a kitchen, though. Looks like straight out of a horror movie. Oh, I cut the bitch's head off. Let's do that. You picked up a knife with a long, sharpened blade. As Miss Miggins moves towards you, you let out a husky growl. Careful to avoid the acid bile spewing for her mouth, you lash out at her neck and land a mighty blow. A large gas appears in her throat as she falls to the floor. You run over to her fallen body and start hacking at her throat like a man possessed. You scream, die, die, die. Ah, oh, God, that was a little too crazy for me. Oh. Oh, hell yeah, brutality. I think I leveled up. <laughs> Alright, we're leaving the house. You head out of your house, only pausing to pick up a, ruck, a backpack. I don't like saying rucksack. A backpack from your shed. You have a feeling it'll come in handy. You need to find somewhere to find, find somewhere to hide out. Where do you go? I just woke up. I'm sorry. We go to the country and go to the town. I don't know. It seems like there'd be more food. 
I don't know. I want to go to the country. Yeah, if a zombie outbreak happens, I'm going to where there's less people. Oh, yeah, I'm broke as hell. I can't afford a car. I think I'll paraphrase all of this. Yeah, <laughs> run it. Alright, so I'm too broke to buy a car because I don't have a job. But I have a house because it's logic. Ooh, a farm. Let's go to the farm. I'm just walking dead. Go see a moo. I want to see moo cows. Go see the moo cows. Oh, I died. Damn it. Alright. What that happened? Basically, what happened was the moo cows were very mean and they licked me. And I died. Okay, I guess going to the country was bad because the only other options were to go in the house and to come back here. So, I guess. Against all common sense, I will go to the town center. Yeah, this is why I didn't want to go. Mutants are everywhere killing people. Why the hell do they spell center like that? Centre. I don't know. I was <laughs> running away like a Muppet. Go to the pub. Get something to drink. Fucking go get drunk. I don't care. You give a shrug and figure that the world is coming to an end, you might as well have a drink. You head to the nearest pub and subscribe surprised to find it completely empty. Hell yeah. <laughs> what? Bars serve food? I wouldn't know. I don't drink. I'm pretty sure you could have found some peanuts at least. What kind of bar doesn't have peanuts? Assuming bars have peanuts. Because I've never been. Oh, the damn. Alright. The street has bodies on it. What do I do? I can take the long route around. Don't be stupid. I'd rather risk my life. I should have risked it. Hi, grub. That's 90s. Oh, I can just click it and it'll stop. Alright, so Walmart has been taken over by mutants. Um, I have a sudden urge to go to the toilet. Let's go to the toilet. Go to that toilet. Did that just pop up? I don't know. I didn't poop at the bar when there was no one there. I mean, at least it's got to have a restroom. Look what I did. It worked. I <laughs> I got kindness. Showing him my poop got me kindness. I feel happy. Why can't we all just get along? Why can't we all just get along? As you're playing the screen, the mutants stop in their tracks. They look at you and you look back at them. A single tear trickles down the face of the mutant near you. What? <laughs> ah, that's funny. Damn it, I'm dead. I'm dead again. This isn't what I wanted. 